Hey everyone, Winter here, and I'm sorry about the bad lighting. Let's see if I can get this focus. Yeah, but today I'm doing a tutorial. I don't know why you have to get fucking games out, but I'm sorry for the bad lighting. And I fix my controller. But um, today I will be doing a tutorial. Uh, how dead is my computer? Not that dead, but it should be fine. Still plugging my JTAG now. Alright, today I'll be doing a tutorial on the correct way to install a VPN on Xbox. <laughs> Same way it might work for PlayStation. I'm not sure. Alright, so you want to what to, um, to do? You want to have a USB, not USB, an Ethernet cable. And this is the correct way. I, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and you know how on Xbox people's like you gotta go to VPN and they say well it's connected to and they say the router with the Wi-Fi it's not true unless they have a big old Linux router. Now make sure your Xbox is completely off like mine is, and you always have to be torn apart. Mine just is torn apart because of the, I want it to be. Now make sure you have it plugged into a laptop or a computer with wireless internet. Now what you wanna do? Plug it in the back of <coughs> excuse me in the back of your Xbox, like I can find it myself. I'll show you like so. Um, I don't have any good lighting over here. Right there, I'll get more lighting here later. And once that's connected, you will want to go down to make sure you have it installed. You will want to go to something called CyberGhost or any other VPN server you can find. And you let that load up. Sorry about the random thing of cookies. My dad was in there earlier. Now this is just a small tutorial on how to set up the VPN correctly and how to make sure um it's like this is this one that the VPN I'm using is a free VPN, but you can buy the VPN. I think it's nine dollars a year, which ain't that bad. I might buy it later on when I start making money. <clears throat> so what you're gonna do is let that load up. Make sure your Xbox is completely off, and it'll ask you to install something called Tap Nine, and you just agree to that. That's what you'll be using. There you go, Tap Nine. And as you can say, special offer, all that. Now that's my IP address. Um, 96.33, but that's all I'm gonna, all gonna give you. Then you wanna go to the computer. And once you're on computer, you go to network, network and sharing, change the master settings. Now, when you first turn on your Xbox, if you don't have done it before, you turn on your Xbox first, and you get connected to someone called Local Area connect Connection. You can always do that. If I turn my Xbox on right now, you turn your Xbox on right now, for the first time, it should make one that says Local Area Connection. If you already have it, it should have an X on it until you turn it on. As you can hear, it booting it up. And you wait till it's completely booting. And you can tell it's running and all of that. And you can tell it might take a little while to do it, but we're not doing that because that's just setting up. We want to go back to Cyber Ghost. Click on it and hit this big power button. And just let it connect. It'll connect somewhere random. As you can tell, oh, sorry, use the book. Um, yeah, this is bad. You only have to wait a certain amount of time. Let me pause the video and I'll get back to you when, um, when I'm done waiting. Oh, and by the way, guys, before I forget, when you first turn your console on, you should not be able to connect right when you sign in. You shouldn't be able to sign in. And that's okay. It does that. But it's still counting down, so hold on, guys, for another second. I finally connected. And like I said before, if I already didn't edit it in, you have to wait until... It does that. If it says that, it should be good to go. And on your local area connection setup, you as you can see, it shows your wireless. That shows your V your VPN. And what you want to do is wait until it gets done connecting. 
and when it gets done, commit the answer you can say it says I'm in Washington. I'm sorry about the bad line that changed out light bulbs. I'll probably need to change them around. It's way too dark over here. But yeah, you want to wait for it to connect. The last time I made this video, it took forever to connect, and I had to uninstall it and reinstall it. So you go ahead and let it connect and let it for it finish connecting. And when it gets done, I'll say what it does in there. I'm back, and it actually timed out for a second, but I know I'm in Washington again. And as you can see, I and you go back to the Xbox. Even though your computer is protected, you're actually not on Xbox. So as you can tell, it's an Xbox Live. So what you want to do is that you go to your VPN. It will say local area connection number two. Your Xbox should be the first one. You can always name it to Xbox, but it always should say local area connection. You want to do is right click, go down to rename. No, you want to go down to properties. And you want to go to sharing up here in the, the sharing tab in the corner. And there's no, in it's just a drop box, just hit on a drop box when you like drop down. You just click on local area connection. If it's not, just click on allow. And it'll pop up saying it will share with it. And you hit OK. And you hit OK. Now, what this does is that it takes a VPN. And puts it over here to your Xbox, which is a lot faster than wireless. As all the people with a fat console knows, now what I want to do is go ahead and test it out a little bit. As you can see, it says no connection. All right. So since it said no connection, you want to go ahead and go back to a variable network. So yeah, I have a wireless, but I can always take out my wireless card if I wanted to. But right now, this says wired. You click on it. You can also text your connection. <sighs> sometimes it might not work on the first time, sometimes you might actually have to restart your console. Which looks like I might actually have to do. And as you can see, it connected to the computer, and then I've got to connect to the VPN. Be aware, it might take some time, depending on how many people it's on the server that they're using. Oh, and there you go. I am connected to the Xbox Live. And I'm going to come back out. It might take a while to load. I'm going to just go sign in, pick a profile. And so, which is me. It just might take a little bit to sign in. But don't worry about it. That's just because of how the server is. And boom, you're online. And just to prove it, my IP was 99 point something. You go to console settings, you write down your IP, you go down to the dashboard, current uh, in service and system info right there. And as you can tell, my IP, that's the IP of the VPN. And to prove it, if it was on the Xbox, when you go to the computer, it says it as well. Alright, guys. Oh, shit. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This is a little short tutorial on how to set up a VPN the correct way on Xbox so you can't get DDoS ever again. And for those who have a static IP who can't change their IP, like me, you can always use a VPN, but you can always uh, try and plug in your router. But yeah, this is the correct way to set up a VPN. Um, leave a like, it will help. And, um,. Yeah, if you would like any, if you have any questions or difficulties, leave it in the comments below. And I hope it's the best way I can. All right, guys, if it's winter, any questions, just leave it in the comments. Like I said, blah blah blah. But um, if you have any problems connecting, let me know. All right, guys, there.